Hey everyone, hello and welcome back, Tony Bing again here. For today's video I'll be having a look at the Spider-Man team up now. The particular variant we're looking at is the fortune card one, so you need to gamble to get him. Uh, as you can see from the, the UI, he's got the big fortune card Mark VI writing across his picture. It's something I'd really wish, due to my OCD, they would fix it. It really bugs me that he's the only team up that has that. Despite that, he is great. Uh, this particular variant is ranged. The regular Spider-Man variant is actually melee, so you get a bit more survivability out of this particular one. The regular variant can be just purchased via the store, via splinters or G's. So we'll get him called in and run through the skills. Straight away I will say that he offers an incredible amount of utility. I think it's other than anyone that really comes close to him with the amount he offers. So you have web zip line to start off with, physical damage, knockdown duration 1.2 seconds with a cooldown of 6 seconds. Pretty simple looking skill but it's nice that it's got that knockdown there. And next up we have fly paper. So this is physical damage, a slow, area duration 5 seconds and a cooldown of 5 seconds. It is there, so that's nice. So if you can get that skill off when it's available, you're looking at full up time on the slow on it, so that's pretty great. Now next up we have stick around. Physical damage, stun duration 2 seconds and cooldown of 8 seconds. There we go. And then we have this move, to be honest, I kind of think it looks more like a signature runner, just a regular skill move. It's energy damage, bizarrely, rather than physical, and it does 10 hits. The cooldown is 15 seconds. There we go. It's pretty awesome for just a regular skill. Very nice. And then next up we have Infuriating Quip. So this is a taunt and a weaken. Starts at 4 seconds with a cooldown of 5 seconds. If we place 6 points into it, the taunt and weaken will match the cooldown. So that's what I'd be aiming for. We can, however, place a full 15 points into it and the taunt and weaken go up to 6.8 seconds. The animation for it is pretty disappointing. Let's see it. There we go, that's it. It's for so much for being infuriating quip. He doesn't actually make any quip. There we go. It's a little bit disappointing, but what it does is pretty great. So next up we have Leap and Assault. Physical damage, knockdown duration 2 seconds with a cooldown of 10 seconds. There we go, simple enough that one. And then we're on to his signature Spider Smash. So it's physical damage. Really does do a large amount. This is without any gear. We're looking at 547,000 there maximum. So that's really nice. Mobilised duration 3 seconds with a cooldown of 30. There is there. Very nice looking skill. What I'll now do. I'll put points into the active setup I would be using on them. By and large the majority of the points are just going into the hardest hitting skills here. Now what we're doing with Infuriating Quip is I'm just placing the 6 points into it so that the Taunt and the Weaken are the same duration as the actual cooldown there. So that's the setup I'd be using. Web Sip Line, Amazing Spider and Spider Smash really do all hit for very hard so that's why we've got full points into them. Now overall if you're looking at his active kit you've actually got two knockdowns, a slow, a stun, a taunt, a weaken and an immobilize. It's just, it's, it's absolutely insane. Uh, it really is. Uh, I will talk about the passive side of things, but with how much you're getting from the active side, you're going to want them in active, it's a no-brainer here, but I'll show you the passive side regardless. So, for passive we have Amazing Awareness, Dodge Rating 720 and Physical Damage 70 to 105 when you dodge a melee attack, so that's useless. Maybe early on in the game when the damage numbers weren't as overinflated as they are and there may have been some value in it, but now 70. 205 damage is absolutely nothing and especially the fact it's when you're dodging a melee attack and this particular variant is a ranged character so you shouldn't really be getting in melee range it's it's really not worth it at all there so while I've been chatting there's been a few kind of run throughs of his skills so what I'll do is I'll reset these and then we'll start talking about the benefit we'll team up as away skills so you have fly paper and tied into that you have web capsules more points you put into it the activation chance will work there and then you have stick around and tied into that you have retaliatory webbing. Now this is one where the activation chance is when you get hit as opposed to when you hit. So just bear that in mind. And then we have leap and assault tied into web slam and this is back to activation chance on hit. So setup I would be using 15 points into the both of these. Then the activation chance on the hit, I place 6 points into them, so we're getting a 10% chance overall. 
and then we're putting only three points here. Um, the reason I'm putting the full 15 points into the Talatry Weapon is what I'm really using it for is the stun rather than the damage portion of it. So what I want to do, because it's when you get a hit skill, I want to boost it as high as I can, because I won't be getting hit often. So the activation chance is 19% there. And there we go, that's the setup I'd be using for that. So it's absolutely fantastic team up. Uh, it really is, this particular costume looks nice as well, whether or not it's worth gambling for. Uh, I wouldn't say you really have to do it unless you're a big fan of the costume because the melee variant does work as well as long as you've got good cosmic team up going on and with invulnerability effects and so on then you'll be able to survive no problem especially with all the all the utilities off and then you'll keep enemies locked down most of the time so nice fun team up to look over uh, tonight a lot to them I uh, hope you enjoyed the video if you did please like share subscribe and I'll see you all again soon